I'm going to be giving you three hacks to successfully advertise affiliate offers on Google Ads. Let's go. The first hack to successfully run affiliate offers on Google Ads is to pick non-English offers. And this applies to every ad network, not just Google. So one of these days, I came across a podcast featuring Mr. Beast. On this podcast, he said that he started many other channels with the exact same content as his main channel. But the thing is, the videos in these channels are dubbed in other languages such as Spanish and Portuguese. So the reason he did that, he says, is because less than 10% of the world's population actually speaks English. If you Google it, it's like only whatever, less than 10% of the world speaks English. So 90% of the world mm. can't even enjoy your content. And so by focusing only on English content, he was putting aside the other 90% of potential viewers to his content. So if we kind of extrapolate that, into Google Ads and affiliate marketing, we can say that by focusing on the same old English offers from Digistore or from ClickBank that everyone else is already running on these ad platforms, you will actually be ignoring a large chunk of searches that come in other languages that we could potentially monetize through affiliate offers on Google. So obviously, I don't know the exact numbers, but I think that it's safe to say that a large portion of the Google searches are done in other languages, such as Spanish, French, or Portuguese. The only drawback to this affiliate marketing approach that I see is that the countries that have the most buying power, like the US, UK, Canada, are obviously English speaking countries for the most part. And so by promoting offers that are in other languages, we will be targeting countries with less buying power in comparison. And therefore, we will be maybe wasting our money on lower quality clicks. That is, clicks that will not lead us to a sale. But thankfully, Google Ads allows you to be very precise with the kind of people that you want to be seeing your ad. And even if the traffic is coming from non-English speaking countries, we can still maximize our chances of success by picking the right type of offer and the right type of targeting. I will explain how to do that in the second hack. As I showed in one of my previous videos, I have been working with this network, which is called Hotmart. Their marketplace is unlike anything I have ever seen. You can pretty much find offers in almost every major language out there, and there is no barrier of entry. Pretty much anyone can sign up to Hotmart and get started. Clickbank also offers some products in Spanish that you can take advantage of. And many CPA networks like AdCombo also have products in other languages that you can take advantage of. But obviously, it will be tough to do this if you cannot find offers in any other language that you know. To work around this, you will need to be willing to spend extra money. And so you will be able to hire someone on Fiverr to translate your copy from your website or from your landing page to the desired language, and then you can go from there. And if you cannot, for any other reason, apply this first hack, that's okay, because you can still do very well by applying the next hacks on the list. So the second hack is to target people that are ready to buy. Let me tell you what I mean by this. So let's take this product, for example, that's on ClickBank. This product is called Easy Battery Reconditioning, and it's an ebook about reconditioning used batteries and bringing them back to life. If you go to their affiliate page and you look at the keywords that they suggest affiliates to use in a Google search ad campaign, you will find keywords such as how to recondition batteries, how to restore a battery, and battery reconditioning chemicals, and so on. And so although these can be good keywords to be used in a campaign, these keywords, in my opinion, don't show any buying intent in it. Pretty much anyone who is just bored with a phone in their hands can look up these keywords simply because they are bored and curious, not because they are ready to pay to learn the skill of reconditioning batteries. So these types of keywords do not target people that are ready to buy. They just target people who are looking for free information on the internet. And in my opinion, they are good for anyone who is looking to build an email list, but they are not ideal for someone who is looking to redirect people to an affiliate offer and have them buying as quick as possible. And so 
How do we target people that are ready to buy and avoid wasting money on clicks from unwanted users? Well, I like to have the word course or info product or similar as part of my keyword. In this case, for example, my keywords would be battery reconditioning course or battery reconditioning services. These are keywords that might indicate that whoever types them in Google is willing to pay because you usually pay to get access to courses or services. I'm not saying that these keywords will work for this specific product. I'm just giving an example. Obviously, the keywords need to be congruent with the actual offer. And to make this work for me, I like to promote actual courses or online courses. And then I use the category of the offer plus the word course as the keyword. For example, if it's a piano offer that I'm promoting, I will target piano course. Not only that, I will use Google Keywords Planner to find other relevant and yet similar keywords that people are actually searching to target more people. And this way, I will be sure that whoever searches for that on Google is more inclined to decide to buy since he is actually looking for a course. These types of keywords, because they are super targeted, usually have a low search volume, meaning that not a lot of people search these terms every day. And so because of that, you may not make a lot of sales or be able to scale your campaign to the moon. But on the other hand, you can start a campaign with a lower budget and then you can work your way up from there. And finally, the last tag it is to have a unique content rich landing page. A lot of people in the affiliate marketing space claim to have had their ad accounts restricted or blocked by Google after a few advertising attempts. One thing that I find to be common among most of these people is the type of landing page that they are sending their traffic to. It's usually a one page website with not a lot of information in it. And the content in that page is simply urging the user to click on the affiliate link to find whatever it is that they're looking for. Something like this page, for example. It hints at a certain morning stretch routine with just a few words but it's clear that the only thing the owner of this page wants you to do is to click on this link that will redirect you to another page, that is the affiliate link. I'm pretty sure that most of us have come across this on the internet. Although this approach can work for some platforms, Google Ads is super against it. If you look at Google Ads policy, you can see that having insufficient original content on your page is strictly prohibited. And this is the rule that many affiliates violate. More specifically, they set up pages solely designed to send users elsewhere and have no useful content in it. If you look up anything on Google right now, you are most likely going to find the answer to what you just searched within the first search results. Google will take you to a website that most likely has the answer to what you just searched. Because it doesn't want the user to land on a website that will force the user to click out and go to another website from there to find whatever he was looking for. That's why having a content-rich landing page is so crucial to having your ad approved and up and running successfully. So simply finding an offer, creating an extended review of that offer with your affiliate link throughout the post and using that review as your landing page should be enough to last longer on Google Ads as an affiliate. Let me know what has been your experience with Google Ads and affiliate marketing in the comments. Watch this video where I set up a Google Ads campaign to an affiliate offer. But before that, like this video and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you next time.